Hi guys, my name's Mitz and um, I've got a friend that's having a problem with using the keyword planner um, in Google AdWords. So it used to be called, called the keyword tool um, and we all got used to it and how to use it. So what we do is we have to sign in to Google AdWords and you could probably just do that with your normal Google account uh, password. So just Google Google AdWords and log in um, and then go to the tools section and click on keyword planner okay I'm just gonna say start over now um, this one here this is uh, just quickly this is a good option just to do a little bit of keyword research the other ones get a little bit more difficult um, where you can compare keywords and stuff like that so let's just click on this first option here and we can type in um, just say a keyword now I'm just typing in computer tips and I want to know what words are related to that and what are you know their possibilities so I'm going down the bottom here and I'm just going to press get ideas okay so it's searching and here's my word here so now we can just um, type in another word and press get ideas or modify the search but um, I like the detail that it's given down here so let's have a look like uh, at these things so it's got groups of keywords here so I've got computer tips um, it probably had this in the older version but it was a little bit different uh, because what it has is it's got build a computer and then it's got the details here okay there's more um, it's got m all these different um, words that actually are related to computer tips so if I had a website about computer tips which I do I should be covering most of these subjects and I should take a really good look at the most popular phrases here as well so we can go over to here as well where it says suggested bid this is a column now have a look at this um, you can go down build a computer that's not much okay buy a computer that's a little bit more because people actually going to spend money these people here most likely have already got their parts right so let's go down um, computer networking um, has a good price on it now I already know this because on my website I have um, some articles and the computer networking articles do bring up a good price for someone clicking on an AdSense ad so I already know that and now they are just proving it to me right here these numbers look very clear to me uh, because I've been doing a computer tips website for I don't know how long a long time and um, they look just exactly what I thought so now I should go and write articles about computer programming but um, the thing is my computer tips website is more basic it's like how to and stuff like that I, I don't really have the computer programming uh, people following me I have computer basics people following me so I have to be careful about that as well um, computer basics people definitely want to know about um, networking and stuff like that right so let's just go and click on computer networking to have a look into more detail about these words now as you can see the related words are very low monthly searches and also low competition now this is a very hard word to get because there'd be more competition and because it's very short it's not a phrase it's uh, just a clear keyword now um, these other words don't uh, think they're not important 
because even though they don't have um, any suggested bid here, they probably are the best money makers for you. So it doesn't always say um, that you're not going to make money because um, definitely the long tail um, ones that don't have much traffic, they do make a fair bit of money. So anyway, go back, just press this back button here and you can go and um, check out some more. So let's have a look at um, running, oh, let's have a look at, no, look at something with a lot. So let's go to computer tips and tricks and click on that. Now it's got all these other keywords underneath it, okay? They look pretty boring to me, but they um, actually have all got a pretty good price on them. Okay, so we've got to check that out too. Especially if you've got an AdSense ad uh, website, you just want to give the best content and also don't give content that no one wants to read. So if someone's got a price on it and um, if it's got a good price on it, it also means that it's popular as well. Okay, um, go down a bit further. Um, look, you can get heaps of ideas here and also what you do, you go in there and you take those keywords and you write articles about each of them and mix and match and move it around a bit. So um, don't, I mean that that is the same keyword as far as I'm concerned, those three words there, increase computer speed, increasing computer speed, increase the speed of the computer, right, and all of that. You can't write four different articles about that. So what you need to do is write one awesome article using some of these keywords, okay? Now, just choose which one you want to have in the title and as the main keyword, but then add the other ones in the article, okay? Um, of course, you're going to use these words in the article anyway. So, yeah, don't make the mistake of going and writing an article for each one that looks similar though, okay? Um, you could write a couple about this though. You could say 10 tips to increasing computer speed on your laptop or and then you can have another one saying um, 10 tips to increase your computer speed after a virus attack, you know, like after the virus has slowed your computer down. Um, stuff like that. You can do that, but this one here I would put in the same um, lot there. Alright, um, that will give you a little bit of help in finding some keywords. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting and I like the layout. Um, you can see the average monthly searches there and at, they're not really big because now it is set to just give you the exact match okay before it used to give you the broad match or the exact match now it only gives you the exact match so this is only the possible amount of total traffic now to get all of that you probably need to be on the position of number one for that keyword okay so you have gotta face the facts here um, you're not going to get 540 from a keyword if you're on page three okay so it just doesn't happen all right um thanks for watching i hope that helps you use your keyword planner all right thank you